Hello and welcome to Devil of the Mirror, a short little RPG maker horror game developed by Tokuro Kairu, I believe, and translated by the Patchy Illusion team. Um, you know, ta apparently this game came out in 2017 originally, but uh, it was only translated recently uh, this year, so that's why I wanted to check it out. Um, yeah. Another, like, puzzle horror game. I, I guess I'm just in the mood for this type of game. Um, but we'll see how hard the puzzles are. Because I'm really bad at puzzles. And, you know, usually that's the true horror. But anyway. Let's get started. Um, but just in case, oh, I want to mention as well, content warning. Uh, this game definitely has dark themes to it. And, and mentions of death and things like that. So definitely not for kids. But anyway. Let's get started. Uh, have you ever heard of a spell used with a mirror? A spell that can send you to the mirror world, where your wish, maybe, will come true. Maybe. That's how, how, what's the probability? Well, that's what the spell does. However, there are things that we cherish. Things that have been around us for a long time. Some of them might contain a certain power. It could be a soul, magic, or perhaps a devil. No, of course not. And so from here on foes the story of a girl who performed this spell. But the mirror used for the spell has reflected the life of a certain somebody who's been killed. Well, that's, that's probably not a good sign. I wonder what will happen to that girl. Will it be a blessing for her or a curse? Well, considering the genre. <laughs> well, let's begin then. The spell is simple. The only things you need for this are, um, I don't know, the, the first thing, I don't know what that is. I assume that's intentional. Something, I don't know. Um, the second thing is a big mirror, and then a candle. And right before midnight, in a pitch black room, light a candle and place it in front of the mirror. When midnight comes, something will happen. I might be able to go to the mirror world where my wish may come true. Rather simple, isn't it? If I succeed in this spell, I will not be able to return to my original world. That's what it said. If you are successful, you can't come back. People who have succeeded can't pass the spell on to others. I know this. This is most likely all bogus, but I don't care. I'm do it anyway. And set off the events of this game. Mirror, mirror, my other self in the mirror. Where? All oh, right, the spell. I wonder if it worked. Okay. All right, we're playing. Uh, item? Well, I don't have any items. Hmm. Can I interact? A stuffed rabbit. The candle that we lit up, we picked it up. And save point. Okay, it's, it's that kind of game. I mean, a lot of RPG Maker games are kind of like, you have save points. Uh, okay. So we got, I guess, transfer to the mirror world. Hmm. Stuffed rabbit. Anything to do with that? No. It's only one way to go. It will be through this door. Oh boy. Also, item. Okay, one candle. I have one candle. A singular candle. I see a... What was that? I don't know. Anyway. Hmm. Alright. Oh. And, oh, I'm, I'm being teleported all around. Help. Uh... I think Gancha, uh, there was something sparkling there. I didn't notice what that was. <laughs> now, now it's laughing at me. Wait, hold on. Can I want? Can I go back? No, I guess not. Never mind. Hands. Hmm. Countless handprints. Falling apart. Mm hmm. Crucified. Drowning. Hanging. And also being stabbed. Okay. I guess reflections of our death that might happen in this game? I don't know. How do you want to die? What kind of last moment do you want? 
Mm, can I not die? No? Ah, no. 13 years of bad luck. There's no return. You'll stay in the mirror world forever. Oh. Okay. I died. Already? Really? Alre already? <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Maybe that was the first puzzle already. Let's try that again. Maybe there's a hint. Also, do I go back? Maybe? I wonder, in that case. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I was just I was just testing that. But I guess you do go back. Interesting. Because we saw the, uh, like, a uh, shadow of ourselves go back to the right. Oh, here's another save point, I guess. Save here. I guess our name is Rose, by the way. Hmm. Here's another mirror. In the mirror world. The other me outside the mirror has said, I want to come inside the mirror. I want to go outside the mirror. Therefore, let us exchange the worlds inside and outside the mirror. From now on, I am the real thing. And you are the fake. Uh oh. I also, I was trying to mute myself just in case, you know, there's some outside noise during the cutscene, but then it kind of ruined it, actually, because it made the beeping sound when I pressed the hotkey for the mute button. Yeah. I don't know, it does that sometimes. I don't, I don't know what causes that, you know? Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway. If you perform a certain spell, it will show you a girl who, has, who was lured into the mirror world and could not escape it. She's been replaced by the devil who was inside the mirror. The spell was a curse. Oh. You know, who could have known? What did the girl wish for? No one knows now. Such was the fate of the girl who relied on the spell without knowing what it does. If ever happen to see that girl who can't return home in the mirror, don't ever look in her eyes. Because if you do, this girl will turn into a devil. Okay, ending three already? What? That was... What? Oh, wow, this game is crazy. Uh, credits already? Okay, so that was an ending, actually. Oh my god. Hmm. I mean, we're already touching on some themes of, I guess, of like, uh... Like a double, you know? I mean, some stories have kind of touched upon it, I guess, you know? Where you look in a mirror, it's... It's a... It's a, um... It's a portal to a different world, you know? And your other self wants to trade places, and you get stuck in the mirror instead or something? Anyway... Wow. Oh, hey! That's interesting. Mirror me, eh? Hmm. Also creepy. Huh. Interesting. So that save was like, it turned, you turn into mirror? Anyway. Let's try to go back. Let's not do that this time. Man. Alright. Ending three already. Hmm. Who are we? Are we Rose or the mirror itself? I can't tell now. Anyway. Yeah. So don't follow that thing. That's a bad idea. Uh, okay, let's read this thing, by the way. I didn't read this thing yet. G didn't get the chance to. Footsteps. Uh-oh. Because I was, I was, uh, uh, I, I touched the orbs or, or teleporters, I guess. I didn't know they were teleporters. I was just trying to interact with them. Anyway. I heard footsteps. Was there something behind me? Come. Alright, okay, so this is a hint of the puzzle. Red, red, white. Is that a good thing, though? Should I do that? Um, I, I, I might give us another game over, but I guess I'll try it. It's the only hit we have. Unless we just choose not to. Alright. Okay. I mean, this is different. Zero. Oh, oh numbers. Um, I don't know if I need to remember all of this, because this is kind of hard to remember. My candle. It's not lit, by the way. Makeup sewing kit, all kinds of stuff. 
A silver spring, red jewels, three stars, and a dwarf. My favorite fairy tales. Hmm. I do wonder if I need to write out, write this down. Uh, maybe. <laughs> if I do, though, I have, I have to click out the game. You know, write on like a notepad. That would just freeze it, though. I mean, I guess I could, but... Then it's less immersive. Alright, let's save the game. Let's <laughs> save over Mirror Me, if possible. That'd be great. Uh, can I go back to that room, I wonder? Okay, if I need to go back to this room, I can. Those numbers might be important. Probably. Ah, okay. What happens if I just choose the wrong thing? Nothing, probably nothing happens. Yeah, it's just locked. Apparently the phone numbers on that previous room somehow relate to this door. Alright, what was it? Yellow and blue. Alright. Yellow and blue. Okay. Three and five, was it? Three and five. Three is yellow. Oops, I didn't mean that. Three is yellow, and five is blue. There you go, amazing. Wow. There's something on the floor. Bones. Hmm. And monster. I have to get out of here. Or I can, like, say hi. I don't know, I just thought they were friendly or something. No, I guess not. I thought they were just NPCs I can talk to, or... Alright, this time, let's not get murdered by the monsters that obviously just want to murder me. La 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 la. Uh, I'll just keep going, I guess. <laughs> Even as the world falls apart, like a mirror. <laughs> I can't stop coughing. <laughs> I think I can rest here. Small rest. Restore your HP. No, wait, okay. okay. I don't know, that was kind of weird. It was just like a blast screen for a while. And maybe, I mean, that was just us taking a nap, I guess. As a player, I, I thought, you know, the game crashed or something. Not the first time that had happened. Anyway. Uh, a boy. He looks worried. Who are you? Oh, thank God you're awake. Says this, like, this anime boy. I mean, they're all anime characters, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry for startling you. Are you alright? Your face looks much better than when I found you. Thanks. My name is Rose, and you? I'm Shuni. Shuni. No, it's nothing. Hey, where are we? Uh, somewhere inside the mirror. Inside the mirror? I performed that spell with a mirror, and then I found myself here. Are you from this world? No, I'm a stranger here. Just like you. And I don't know anything about this place either. Is that so? It's kind of sus. You know, it's kind of sus. Are you sure? <laughs> hey, how did you end up here? I came to save somebody important to me. That someone must be somewhere in this world. So I came here to look around. What about you, Rose? Why are you here? I... I'm sure there was a reason why I performed the spell and something I wished for, but... I remember neither anymore. So I forgot what I wanted to do. Now I only want to know how to return home. So if you know the way, please tell me. Sorry, I don't know a way back myself. But please, let me join you. What about the one you're searching for? I thought you'd been looking for that person. It's fine. I want to find a way back for her sake after all. And, um, 
I just would feel a little dis dis discouraged to go by myself. Alright then, let's find her together. Alright, he joined my party. Shuni has joined the party! What skills do you have? What level are you? Any weapons on you? You know, fight off against the monsters? No? Guess not. Uh, I'll save the game. Alright. How many save slots are there? There's, a, there's quite a few. Alright. Gotta make out multiple saves. Just in case. An adorned silver frame with a pin in the middle. Hmm. An adorned golden frame with a pin in the middle. Alright. We can't seem... Probably can't go through this door yet. Uh, this door seems to have some kind of mechanism that prevents it from opening. Can't go through there yet, so we probably have to go to different areas first. So let's do that. Hello. This is a kitchen. It looks like a kitchen. Small vials. Some acetone? What's that? Is that what it's called? Acetone, glue, solvent, and anhydrous ethanol. Used for embalming. How do you know this? I assume I assume Rose just knows this, by the way. These complicated chemical names. How to make a specimen. Fluttering to death, scale transfer. My favorite book. How did it get here? Your, your favorite book? That's your favorite book? Something fell. A bookmark? There's something written on it. Eternal beauty. Uh, beauty. The azure butterfly goes to the silver frame. The crimson butterfly goes to the gold frame. Hmm. It's not breaking. How to make a specimen. That's her favorite book, by the way. Was her favorite book the, the like little fairy tales? It seems like it's changed now. I don't know. Or maybe it's always been the same. I don't know. Vials. Nothing else? Okay, what was it? It's probably the answer to the puzzle, right? Azure, the silver, crimson, the gold. Azure, the silver, crimson, the gold. I mean, just like the characters in the game, actually. You know? You see Rose has red eyes. I guess he's azure and everything. So I guess he's silver. It's more like a kind of like a white, blue kind of design. Anyway, what's over here? Oh, I see flowers. Hmm. I see. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's a yellow butterfly, azure. Oh, you can't hold any more. Interesting. What happens if I fail the puzzle? You know, now I'm interested because we we we. we what happened when we failed the puzzle last time? We we got like an ending or like a game over. Those are actually kind of interesting. So what happens if I actually just choose to fail it, you know? Forever beautiful, you must be equal. Bleh. Okay, that's what happens if you fail the puzzle. <laughs> you just die. A lot, of, a lot of shorter game overs, it seems. After the prologue. Hmm, why is there like a... You know, butterfly there. Or do I already have the butterfly or something? No? Oh, interesting. Uh, my save slide shows I had a yellow butterfly for some reason. Weird. Well, we can Azure and Crimson. All right, now we solve the puzzle... ...as intended. So, let's see. Azure for silver. And then... ...Crimson for gold, right? And that unlocks the door. I think I heard the door... Uh, I heard a sound coming from the door. Let me see. Let's save the game one more time. Go over here. Yeah, again, I see that butterfly. What's that butterfly there? Mm, that's weird. Um, or no, actually, now that I look at it, no, no, okay, it makes sense because uh, the the image to the right of us is maybe just the representation of what room we're in. Okay, that's interesting. Huh, okay, so that's why it's a butterfly because we're in the butterfly room. There's also a yellow butterfly here. Should I grab it right now or I don't know actually. Well, the, the game doesn't say we need to grab it, so I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm just going to go through the game as intended for now. There are, like, um... Well, I guess we'll see. But basically, this game definitely has multiple endings and whatnot. And I guess we'll see um, what happens later on. A deep pit. I can't even see the bottom. Maybe that mirror could send us back? But I don't think you can get there. Rose? No, it's nothing. I just thought it might help me remember why I wanted to come here. I hope it will. Hey, you said you're looking for somebody. What's that person like? 
Hmm. Lonely, I guess, just like me. I was very happy when we played together. Though I really wish we could have spent more time with each other. Well then, let's figure out how to get to the mirror. Alright. I see D-E-N. D-N-E? -N -E? I don't know what that means. Oh, go up here apparently. End up over here? Pawn? Oh, let's save the game. Stray lamb. To the right, to the left, to the right again, and lastly down. Okay. You will fall, you will sink, and you will fail. Uh. Also, why is my thing, like, wrong? <laughs> you know, that's interesting. It just starts off, like, the wrong uh, alphabet. Mm -hmm. I. I don't think we can find any clues here, but there might be something useful in that previous room. Rose, let's go back to the mirror and look around. Okay, I was expecting we were going to die or something. It's too deep. Hmm. I, I think I get it. You have to read the, the letters, right? What was it? To the right, to the left, to the right, and down again? To the right. But the... Well, I actually, I'm not sure, actually. To the right, to the left, to the right, and down again? Eden? Is that what it spells? I, I press shift, trying to run, but that just opens the item menu. I don't know if the the color uh, correlates to the letters. I, I, you know, for some reason, I'm, I have horrible visual memory. I don't remember the colors, but I think that's spelled Eden, right? I'm just I'm just remembering as like the the, the directions rather than the color, because uh, the instructions are also colored. I'm not sure. Anyway, Eden. I'm assuming it's Eden. Oh, there we go. Whoa, worked! Hey, I think there's somebody in front of the mirror. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say cat girl? Well, she's not really a cat girl. Maybe she's just like a... I don't know. I, I can't tell. But it looks like just a, a headband, you know? It's like a ribbon or something. Anyway. Hmm. So you made it here. Not bad. Hey, is that the person you've been looking for? No, I've never seen her. What are you doing here? What am I doing? I'm breaking it, obviously. Wait, we need to go home. Go home? Didn't you come here on your own accord? Well, now I get it. Shuni? You're the devil that trapped us in the mirror. Devil? Mm, yeah, I've been called that before. <laughs> so what? I'm gonna break every single entrance and exit. See ya! Get wrecked, dummies. Oh, okay. Well, we need to find another way home. Hey, so that devil you were talking about earlier. Old and treasured objects can hold souls and magical powers. Under normal circumstances, they're supposed to protect their owners. But devils also might possess them. Rose, did you use an old mirror for the spell? The only reason the spell worked was because there was a devil in that mirror. The devil feeds on the soul of the person reflected in the mirror. Rose, I don't know the reason why you came here, but... Staying for too long in this world with the devil is dangerous. Rose, let's return to our world as soon as possible. Back to our own world. But why did I come here? Why did I perform the spell? It's strange that the devil didn't attack us right away. What's the purpose of trapping us in this mirror world, then? The devil in the mirror. Myself inside the mirror. Did you say something? No, nothing. Earlier, she said she was going to break all the ways in and out, which means there should be another exit. Let's find it, then, before it's broken. Alright. Hmm. I mean, we did get an ending earlier in the prologue. Like, very... Quick ones, like one game over and one that's just a, like a real, like a, I guess a bad ending. Where the devil did not take much time actually to do its magic, I feel like. Anyway. We've lowered the water level and it's shallow enough that we can wade through it now. Hey, what if... 
If we get out of here, what would you like to do first? If we could just get out of here. I want the person I love to smile. For me, that's the best. I've wondered. Will your beloved friend also get along with me once we finally meet? Hmm? No, never mind. Hey. Do you want to hear why I performed the spell in the first place? Oh, so you recall the reason why you came here? Sure, let me hear it. I was too weak to play with the other kids. That's why I was always all alone. No matter how much I wanted to have friends, I wasn't able to get out of my room much. No one knew I was there, and I wasn't able to approach them myself. So I played all by myself. The only place I could go without worrying too much about my illness was... The library. My fairy place. That's why I like books so much. Even though I didn't get to play in the outside world much, even though I couldn't have friends. With books, I could travel to all kinds of different worlds. It's like isekai for your mind, you know? <laughs> they may have been mere figments of a vivid imagination. However, for a shut-in like me, they're all like small worlds full of wonders. And one time, while I was in that library, I found the, the, the like, the satanic ritual book. I don't know. What do you call it? A uh, Necronomicon, I guess, or something like that? Anyway. I found a Tome of Magic. There was a spell that could make your wish come true. And obviously this was a great idea from this anonymous, you know, this ominous, I was gonna say anonymous? No, ominous uh, looking book. What if I could be healthy again? What if I could have friends? What if I could be able to live an amazing world outside instead of being confined to my room for all the eternity? This is the this is the this is the future. Uh, this, you know, this game actually takes place in the future, where uh, COVID two has been wreaking havoc on humanity, and actually everyone's inside. No, um, actually, it doesn't make sense because she said that only she's inside. But anyway, that's what I wish for, or rather, I was hoping, clinging to the hope, and yet this hope became bleak with each surgery. Each medication taken. No matter how hard I tried, no matter how much I endured, this dream would it come true. I wanted to change, but I couldn't, so I started to hate myself. I hate myself who was powerless and couldn't do anything. That's why I decided to try that spell. Okay. I guess, you know, might as, try, might as well try everything at that point. Which is why I'm stuck here with you now. If it's because of that devil you've mentioned earlier, I... Oh, please don't say that. You hate yourself. You have no idea how I feel. You don't understand. Yeah, I don't. I wasn't in the same situation as you, but... It was quite similar. While everyone else seemed to enjoy themselves in the world of light, I was in the world of darkness. In the world of darkness. Okay, uh, suddenly it's Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I live in a world devoid of light and hope. Envy was consuming me, and I was overcome with abhorrent feelings. I felt myself left behind, forgotten, dying inside. And now? Now everything's fine? Yeah, there was someone who saved me. Thanks to that person, I realized that a world of warmth, light, and hope exists. So that's the person you want to save, Shuni? That's right. But it's very frustrating and sad that no one came to save you, Rose. And so, if that's your wish, it has been fulfilled, because I'm your friend. Thank you. But, you're, uh, you're a nerd, so, actually, I don't want to be friends with you. I reject your friendship, and, no. Uh, actually, I want to save the game again. Can I save the game again? No, I, I can't go back. All right, well. Wasn't there, well, wasn't there a safe point in this room? Anyway. All right, let's just go, though. I kind of don't want to go, because you see you see, it's all red now, and it's like, hmm, I don't know. Uh, at least there's a save point over here. And a monster, by the way. I think someone's out there, Ro uh, Rose. Be careful. Oh, I'm going to save the game. That's what I'm going to do. Probably going to die if I touch that monster again. Probably the same game over. Uh, oh, 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 oh,
Ah, uh, uh. Juked all of them. Though I guess none of them were actually chasing me. It's more like I sneak past them. Hmm, the moon. The moon cycle? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, which way do I go? There's, there seems to be left and right. Let's go left first, I guess. It's a small hole. I think you can jump over it. Press enter slash Z while standing in front of the small hole to jump over it. Hmm, I see. What happens if I just jump here? Huh? How about here? Huh? Okay, I can't, I can't jump anywhere, but I can try over here. Huh? Uh, 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 no, that doesn't lead anywhere. Though I can't go... Oh yeah, no, no I can. Okay, that was this. A lost item in this thicket? I picked up a, a knife. Uh-oh. A knife. <laughs> it's always... Well, I, I wouldn't say it's a bad thing necessarily, but it's, you know, eh, indicative of an RPG horror... or RPG maker horror game when the main character picks up a knife. I don't know. Almost there. Eh. Rose. Are you okay? Thank you. Oh, come on, let's go. Hmm, hands. I see. Hands. I don't think we need to go there anymore. Okay, never mind that. Okay, well, let's go. Hmm, I want to save the game, but I can't. Because I'll go through that, that area again, so I guess I won't. There are more and more graves, and yet I'm still alone. Did you say something? No, nothing. Let's go. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that, Rose? More and more graves and you're still alone, eh? What does that mean? What are you trying to say? Alright. Well, this is a safe point over here, so I'm going to save! Alright. Um... Hmm. Rose, can I borrow this knife? I'll cut off the thorns, but back off a bit, it's dangerous. Okay, that allows us to go in there. Come on, let's find a way out. All right, you can go over there. But what's the other locations, you know? What's this one? It's broken. Probably that girl's doing. What about over here? What's a clock? Okay. Hmm. How do you read this? It looks upside down, so like... Well, the 9 the 6 is confusing. But I guess the right or... Oh, that's confusing. But the right, the yellow, is 9. Red is 12. Green is 3, and blue is 6, I think. And I turned the, my, my computer screen upside down or something. A slot? Maybe you can make this reverse clock work. Hmm. I guess that makes sense. Oh, actually, no... Yeah, no, no. Yeah, it makes sense. I think. Wait, no. No, it doesn't make sense. I was gonna say, this is just a normal clock, right? Anyway. I don't read analog clocks all that much, though. I've actually really, I'm really bad at reading analog clocks. Actually. I think that's basically the time, you know, of like an analog clock. You know, 12, 3, 6, 9, right? Um. Okay. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I see dolls and little beds. Hello, hello. Welcome to Grand Guigno. Tonight's story is who was killed. There were fairies glittering in the sky, but one day all of them disappeared and the skies become pitch black. Whither? At which time? Wherefore? Well, you need to ask the fairies. I suggest you present the murderer to the pedestal of the murder fairy. Which one you choose first doesn't matter. It's a three-way deadlock. Rock, paper, scissors. But it simply just changed their places. If you want to start over, I'll put them back for you. Until you solve the mystery, the door won't open, but there's no need to worry. I won't cause my steam guests any harm. If you manage to bring the puppet show to its conclusion, you'll receive a wonderful gift to commemorate your visit. Hmm. I don't know what, the, what? Okay. The Sun Fairy doll, I was killed by the Moon Fairy. 
the star fairy doll was killed by the sun fairy. And the moon fairy doll was killed by star fairy. Hmm. And the door won't open until I solve this puzzle, I guess? Who are you? Hmm. From your point of view, I'm an inhabitant of this world. Frankly, I came here through the magic spell in the first place. But unlike you, miss, I can no longer return. That's why I run this humble puppet show here. Without an audience, unfortunately. It's ridiculous, don't you think? That's why we sometimes invite guests from the other worlds. Naturally, you shall be given a fine gift in commemoration of visiting our puppet show. But only if you can bring the puppet show to its conclusion, alright? Hmm. Okay. Uh. Okay, you were killed by the Star Fairy? Wait. So, yeah, and then here, basically just swap everybody until they they killed everybody, I guess, or they killed each other. Anyway, I think I heard something from the door. What could be up there in the pitch black sky when the fairies are gone? But what's more important, who was killed first? Secrets can stay hidden forever, right, young lady? Who killed who first? It's kind of confusing. I'm not sure. I don't know. I killed the sun fairy. I killed the moon fairy. And I killed the star fairy. Hmm. They kill each other. I'm not sure what this all means. Anyway, let's go up here maybe. Gift? Picked up a whining key. Who's that? Rose? I became friends with myself in the mirror. Normally, you can't converse with your reflection in the mirror, right? But the mirror I used for the spell was different. Strangely, myself inside the mirror could move and act all on her own. But since I couldn't play with the other kids because of my illness, it was a perfect friend for me. I never realized it was all due to the spell. Still, I'm so happy to be with you, Rose. You couldn't have talked to each other like that if you hadn't come here. Back then, you said that no matter how hard you tried, no matter how much you endured, that you hated yourself for your inability to change. Honestly, I'd like you to cherish that feeling. Huh? Even if it's hard right now. Because in the future, you can be at someone's side, someone who experiences similar hardship. You can support that someone to offer your strength and warmth. Future. Well, um, that's what I want to believe in myself. Uh, this may sound crazy, but after all... Don't you want to believe that a brighter future awaits us? Believe in the future. I wonder if I'll be left behind in the future. If I'll be forgotten. Don't worry. You won't be forgotten. I'll protect you. With my blue hair. Hmm? Hello, who is it? I think it's gone. But let's check out what's happened over there. Alright. So she, she mentioned something how she... Well, I don't know. Did the spell immediately transfer to this mirror world? Or did she activate like a different spell and had like a mirror friend? Is that what it was? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, hello, uh, sheep, by the way. Just playing a little RPG, uh, RPG horror game. Because why not? Devil in the mirror. We're stuck in the mirror world. Can't look at the chest again? No? What, what do we get? We got a winding key, right? I assume that's for the clock, maybe. Anyway. What happened over here? Just death? Good. Just murder and death. Wow. Anything to say, narrator? No? They're all dead, I guess. Oh, well. Hmm. Oh, looks a bit different. So red. Oh, what was that? What was that? Hello? 
Anyway, let's uh, go back in here. Uh, here is a clock. We have a winding key now. Let's put it in. This clock stopped a little before midnight. When I used that spell to enter the mirror, something will happen at 12 o'clock. It said this must be the result. If we move the clock, it might have some kind of effect. We might but get the clock running with a winding key. Do you want me to wind it up? I'll do this. Or she'll, I guess, like, I'll do this, you know, like, as in, like, I'll do it myself. Oh, she's back. Oh, there you are. Why didn't you, why didn't she kill us yet? She needs a substitute to get out of the mirror. She can't leave without a substitute. That's why she didn't kill you yet. A substitute. She wants to replace you. She's been weakened and then sealed in the mirror, but she regained her strength by playing with you. Playing with me? Every game you play with the mirror was like a gift of life power for her. It's not just the devil who has become more powerful. Right, Shuni? It's the same for you and me. Because that's how we were born. What do you mean? Sorry. I can't tell you now, but... Wait, Rose-chan, look out! Rose-chan? Call me Rose-chan? That's a little too familiar. Huh? Yeah. Ow. I, I guess we fell. It hurts. I can hear someone talking. Who are you? Anata wa... Uh, dare? Dare? Is that...? Anyway, I don't, know, I don't know if I read that correctly. Hmm. That, that's a lot of us. <laughs> This, this is a lot of ourselves. A lot of dolls that look just like me. What is this place? I moved the clock and then the ceiling and floor has been reversed. Ah, just like uh, Castlevania, Sympathy of the Night, <laughs> you know? I've been separated from Shuni and that girl who saved me. Shuni was talking about the devil of this world and at first I thought it was that girl, but apparently the devil looks exactly like me. Because it was my reflection in the mirror. It was me inside of here. Inside of this mirror world. What if... What if that devil pretending to me... Uh, pre pretending to be me got out of this world and I remain here? Will she become me? Then who will I become? No, don't think about it. I'm still me. I need to get out of here quickly. I want to see Shuni and that girl again. Hmm. Like a, like a doppelganger, right? Yeah. Again, reminds me of the prologue. I mean, that's exactly what happened, you know, at the very beginning when I got that bad ending somehow. And dolls, eh? That wasn't my first thought when I saw these bodies here, but... Hmm. Interesting. And they also mentioned, like, something about how Shuni and that girl, how they were born? That's interesting. But anyway, let's continue on. No, it's just more of us. Hello? Hmm. And more of us. Hello? Okay. What's this? Something like blood is flowing down the wall. Hmm. Letters are flowing in the air beside the door. I've been waiting for so long to get out of here. At last. Hmm. Hi? Hello? Got anything to say? At last. These dolls are getting dirty. Um, anyone here to clean them up? It's rotting. 
dolls, you know, these dolls, quote unquote dolls. Hello? Hi, hello? For so long, something like blood is flowing down the wall. More letters are floating by the door. My dear self, outside the mirror. How do you want to die? What kind of last moment do you want? Uh-oh, not again. <laughs> I remembered these lines before. What kind of last... Yeah. <laughs> Save the game. Before I die again. Save the game. Alright, good. Hello? Why are we here? What is this? There's someone around the wall. It's sad to be alone. Let's all be together. Hmm. Oh, it's locked. Any items? I still have a candle and a knife. Well, where are these? There's a blade in its throat. Only this bird is still moving. Where do I pierce it? No, I don't know. <laughs> Garnish with red flowers. A little bird that appeared to be alive. Only these flowers are white. Hmm. What's going on? I don't know. What am I doing? A blade to its throat. Red flowers. Appeared to be alive. Won't open. Why am I piercing it? Why am I murdering it? I don't know. I mean, this one died with, it, with his throat, I guess. What happens if I just... I mean, I think he's supposed to hit it, or hit it, pierce it through his throat. Uh, what happens if I just don't do that? What do I say, the back? It's sad to be alone, you must be equal. Ah! Dead. Alright, that's what happens. That's what happens when you do it wrong. Let's try again. Alright. We're in the wall. Had to be alone, so I'll be together. So I guess the idea is you were supposed to... I don't know, actually. Hmm. I don't know how it works. These, these flowers are white. I'm, I'm assuming you're supposed to make it all equal, right? All the same. That's the idea. I can pick up these white flowers, but... Well, let's see. Let's stab it in the throat, I guess. Devoid of warmth is slightly crimson with blood. And the white flowers are stained with blood. I agree with white flowers. Alright, there you go. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do with the flowers. There you go. Everything is equal, right? I think a noise came from the door. Alright. Play the game again. Okay. Let's see. I guess I'll save here. I, I, I make too many saves, I feel like. I should just save per room rather than, like, make a double save. Hmm. I'll save it over here. Anyway. Uh, let's see. What will you do here? Let's play Funeral. Which one of the coffins is empty? The butterfly is the leftmost. Uh, okay, it's a riddle. The butterfly is the leftmost. Alright. The goldfish is three apart from the butterfly. Hmm. I'm never sure what that means. Like three, is it three coffins away? Or three as in, does it count the butterfly too? I don't know, anyway. Go if it's three apart. If it's three apart, I assume it's to the, like, the far right, I guess. The little bird is three apart from the kitten. Okay, we don't know where the kitten is. And the kitten is next to the goldfish. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, that's so confusing, because I'm not sure what it means by three apart, right? We only open one. Well, let's get it wrong the first time. For, just for fun. Wee. Hi. The blue butterfly and the red butterfly that I've crucified back in the rain here. I think I heard a, so a sound come from the door. Oh. I, I got it right the first time? Maybe? No, no, no. Okay, no, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now, maybe that was wrong. Because I crucified those butterflies, I guess. And then, probably this kills us. Text my door has changed. And now it's your time to enter the coffin, my dear self! Room made of mirrors.
Who are you? All right, there you go. Death by Kaleidoscope. I actually thought I got it right the first time because the door clicked and everything, but no. It, it said, uh... It said, um... Technically, you're supposed to find the empty coffin, not something that has something inside. So that did make sense, okay. I thought I thought I got it right the first time. Anyway, try this again. Let's try to do it properly. I mean, I might still get it wrong anyway. So the butterfly is the leftmost. Butterfly is three apart. I'm, I'm still not sure what the three apart means, you know, but... Maybe it's like, uh, I guess I have a mouse, right? I can show maybe? Oh no, I can't. If I put the mouse inside the game, it actually disappears. Which is, I guess, good, but at the same time, I can't show it. I can't point to it. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, I'm not sure if uh, three apart means like it includes the third, or is it like... Is it after three coffins, you know? Hmm. It kind of doesn't make sense if it's like after three coffins, because there's only so many coffins. So, butterflies, we know the little butterflies left most. The goldfish, the kittens next to the goldfish, and little birds three apart from the kin. Okay. So, it's like, here's the butterfly, and again, I don't know, it's like one, two, three, and then this is the uh, goldfish, or is it like one, two, three, this is the goldfish? I'm not sure. Because if this is going and next to the kitten, it doesn't, the thing is logically it doesn't make sense if if the uh, goldfish is here because then it said the kitten's next to the goldfish, which will make it here, and then the the last thing I actually forgot what the last thing was a bird I guess was three apart it was one two three and that doesn't make any sense because it won't have enough space so I guess it will be here it'd be like the third from the you know third from the butterfly not like i don't know it's ambiguous i guess but it's third from the butterfly the kitten is next to it okay so either the kitten could be here or here if it's here it doesn't make sense because there's nothing that can be three apart from here so it has to be over here kitten logically it can only be here and then so one two three the last thing will be over here so the only empty coffin will be the one in the middle i think let's test my hypothesis and it's empty. Good. Got it right. So interesting. I guess these are all the animals you've killed, maybe? I guess each one will have like a unique dialogue. It would be interesting to explore, but we have to like restart every single time, you know, because we'll die if we open every coffin uh, at a time. But anyway, guess we got it. And now is your time to enter the coffin, my dear self. Uh oh. Wait. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I got a bad ending last time, or game over last time. The same dialogue. Uh, what's this? A coffin. There's a name written on it. Rosalia. That's me. It's my name. It's me, the main character. There's a letter in the coffin. My beloved self, from outside the mirror. I want to get out of the mirror. My dear self outside the mirror says she wants to come inside the mirror. So, let's exchange worlds. I know what my dear self truly wishes for. Oh, after all, don't you want a brighter future? Oh, this weird screenshot of the, the previous scene. My true wish. Earlier, Shuni had told me about the future. The truth is, there's not much time left in my life. I don't have a future. Yeah, okay. I, I think that was the implication, you know, she said she had she needs surgery and medication and all that, so that's why. Which is why. Which is why you turned to me a devil, right? Do you remember now? There's no future for you. You are alone. No one will know you've existed. No one will remember you as you sink into a coffin. That's what you were afraid of. You wanted to have a friend. You wanted a future where you stayed beautiful forever, didn't you? All of you, together in the coffin. That's the Garden of Eden you wish for. I'll make your wish come true. No, that's not what I really wanted. Ah. Oh, I'm stuck in the coffin. This is a cer uh, this is a story of a certain girl living in a certain world. 
this girl has been all alone because of her illness. But one day, the girl received an invitation. It was a dark, dark Sunday. The girl was clad in black clothes because she was invited to the funeral. It was the first time she's seen a box called coffin. Makeup has been applied carefully to the deceased as befits a final departure. Yeah, you gotta go through a whole embalming process or whatever. Gotta like pump them through, <laughs> pump the body full of chemicals to make sure they de don't decompose. Gotta like take out some organs as well. <laughs> anyway, flowers surrounded the coffin, decorated with lovely memorabilia. The girl who attended the funeral was fascinated by it. I wish I could have such a beautiful funeral, she thought. Interesting. No, it, you know, it was mentioned actually. Uh, I know I'm saying it correctly, by the way. The word e-bombing? E I don't know. I, I feel like I'm saying it wrong. But it was mentioned, those chemicals, right? In the previous room. And I guess this is how this connects to her knowing that, actually. I guess she was interested. On a certain day, the girl received a wonderful gift. A magnificent antique mirror. And its sender is someone who passed away somewhere recently. She thought it must have belonged to the family of the deceased, accepting it with gratitude. To an uninitiated eye, it must have looked very creepy and disturbing. The girl, somehow unable to avert her eyes, had taken fancy to the mirror. Thus it began her days of playing with the mirror. Mirror, oh mirror, myself inside the mirror, hear me out. Today, I picked up a dying black kitten and a stuffed rabbit doll. Why don't we have a beautiful funeral, just like the one in the past? That said, surely the kitten would feel sad left all alone in its coffin. I wish it had a friend it could share the coffin with. One day I'm going to die too, and when that day comes... Who will be with me inside the coffin? Hmm, interesting. Wait a minute. Choto mate. Hold on a sec. It's cold. This place brings back many memories. But I don't want to return here. Not so long ago, every day felt like this for me. Cold, empty of life. I felt like my soul was withering away with every passing moment. Perhaps I've been forgotten and abandoned. No place I can go to. No place I can call home, no reason to exist, no wish to live. Well, there was someone who could, who would play with me occasionally. Every time they passed away, I felt emptier inside. However, she has put an end to all that. Rose, help me get out of here. So, now it's my turn to help her. Okay, I think we switch characters. This room. Looks like the place where I first met Rose. First met Rose. Wait, when did we first meet Rose again? We met Rose on the bench, right? So that's not right. Hmm. And also, uh... Uh, the cat funeral, by the way. So I wondered if... Did she kill the cat? Or did she let the cat die? I mean, either way, it's neglect, I guess. Hmm. That's why there's, you know, the... There, there's a whole, there's a whole, there's a whole theme about animal abuse. I feel like, but I think Rose has been killing animals and putting them in, in like little funerals for herself. I guess maybe. Uh, with the like uh, when or, well, on top of like the the whole mirror thing. I guess the mirror thing because I was I was still a little bit confused about the mirror thing. But I guess she got the mirror as a gift and the mirror was already like it already had a devil inside and she was interacting with it right it was only afterwards i guess at the start of this game was did she activate the spell you know and everything but anyway today i was visited by a family it appears that their child was trying to seize a devil within the mirror corridor but in the process was possessed by it instead so they requested an exorcism but even if it was exorcised, it would simply possess someone else, which will only lead to more victims. Devil's might increases with each soul it devours. Fortunately, no one has died yet, and now that it is weak, 
we've decided to enclose the devil in the mirror. I conducted a funeral for a member of the family who came to me for an exorcism a long time ago. I bid the child and the bereaved family farewell in a peaceful and modest ceremony to see them off in their last gracious journey. Today, I was contacted by that bereaved family. What happened to that mirror where the devil was sealed? I asked. It's gone. That mirror is gone. According to the family, they were told by one of the attendants, thank you for the mirror. But they have no recollection of giving the mirror to anybody. When I heard the word mirror, I immediately thought about the devil's mirror. The problem is, they don't know who received the mirror, even though they've checked every single attendee. Fortunately, the devil is still trapped in the mirror. It was sealed before it could gain any power, unable to cause any harm while inside the mirror. To grow in power, the devil must feed on souls. However, it's incapable of sealing a soul by force, unless it is offered with one's consent. And that's how it always goes with devils. Hmm. So I guess that's the story of the mirror. That's the origin of where that mirror came from. And I guess somehow it... I guess gifted itself to Rose some like you know with whatever power it had maybe I don't know in this room many people in their possessions gather and go separate ways over and over a long time ago someone left the stuff rabbit behind and there wasn't even the slightest sign of anybody coming back for it I figured it would be good to have it around to keep a bored child some company so remaining here for a very long time however it just recently vanished I su suspect some visitor came and took it on a whim. Similarly, there are also many objects here which, by different turns of events, seem to be fated to remain in this place. However, sometimes incredibly, incredibly, um, blah, blah, blah. Ah, return, go back, get out, return mirror. Blah. Where did you hide that mirror leading outside? Where did you hide it? Is that devil also searching for the mirror to get out of here? Hmm. That scared me, actually. That wasn't even a jump scare. That was just, like, a flashback. But that mirror was... Hmm. Back then, that girl was trying to save Rose. Okay, he's putting it together. If the devil is also looking for a way out, that means the devil cannot exchange places with Rose. Not yet. That girl wasn't trying to look, lock us in. She's broken the mirror to prevent the devil from getting outside. It was all to keep her trapped inside the mirror. The only reason we haven't been killed yet is because if Rose dies before the devil can get out of the mirror, he won't be able to replace her. After all, the devil won't be able to find out where the true mirror is hidden. Why didn't she let me use that mirror when we first met? There might be something else to it. That other girl was trapped with me just a moment ago. She's probably somewhere nearby. Hmm, interesting. The plot thickens. Anything else to explore? Also, there's something about stuffed rabbit, by the way. I mean, there was a stuffed rabbit that uh, Rose had, right? I don't know if it's the same rabbit. Anyway, 